There it is. There's a straw bale house. Oh my gosh. For the next couple of nights, we are all the way out here. Oh my gosh. How beautiful. This is the entryway, which I am obsessed with. I can't get enough of it. Here we are in the dining room. So it's big enough for you and five of your friends. And then we'll move right into the kitchen. The host left us this adorable goodie bag. And she also gave me this sweet little birthday card. You love it. Thank you, Courtney. Moving into the kitchen. As you can see, pretty much everything you need. And I think this is my favorite view from a window in the house. You look out right onto the mountains, so I think I'm going to actually really enjoy washing dishes from here. Little continuation of the kitchen is this incredible pantry with everything you need. And the attention to detail is amazing. She branded all these things. It's so beautiful. Can't wait to try some of those teas. They look delicious. Let's continue the tour over here. There is a lovely bathroom off the hall for your guests. And now we'll check out the guest bathroom. Here's the guest bedroom. So it's super cozy and comfy. Throughout the entire property, there is beautiful, beautiful artwork. For instance, take a look at the beautiful simplicity of it. And yet the intricacy all at the same time. I am obsessed with that piece. Now let's check out the master. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. You have no idea how lovely it is to have a king size bed after living in a van and having to sleep like on top of each other. This bedroom is absolutely stunning with yet another incredible view of the mountain to look out into in the morning when you first wake up. And the best part of the house, in my opinion. Look at this shower! Also with a beautiful view. Shower and look at a view. And of course, off the master bathroom, you just step out and enjoy a patio space. This looks like it used to be a pool at one time. I'm really curious about it. It's very interesting. So this home was originally built by an artist. The owner was telling us about back in 2000. And this is the outdoor space, or at least the very beginning of it. Now, there's a little seating area off the master with yet another desk for the Digital Nomad. It's enormous. This actually used to be the artist's painting studio, so that's why you see a work sink in here as well. And I love that she kept the original features of the home um, to harken back to its past and the original builder. We'll head outside now, the most peaceful area of the property. I'm pretty sure I could sit here and stare out at the view all day and listen to the birds. But my favorite part about this property is just listen to yourself. All you hear is the sounds of nature. That's it. That is the loudest thing here. We are so far away from civilization right now, and that's just the best part. It's really meant to be a retreat, but with the comforts of home. I'm a little afraid about the creek. It's probably gonna be full. Yeah, probably.
One of the things I wanted to talk about um, in this lovely casita is the build is a straw bale house. So you can see just how thick these walls are. That's because inside there are straw bales. And what this does is this allows the house to stay warm in the winter and cool in the summertime without a ton of additional heating or cooling. It's uh, nature's insulation and it works great.